Let's talk about kind of a tricky concept here for a minute. Um, sometimes in a double reflection over intersecting lines, because it's a rotation, there's potentially two answers, uh, or at least two ways to get there. You could go in a positive direction to obtain it counterclockwise, or you could go the negative direction to get there. Because uh, it's circular and you have different ways to get there, that's what makes it a little confusing. Just think about it this way. Going 90 degrees is the same as going negative 270 degrees. Now the convention is that we normally move through the acute angle. So here the, the 55 uh, degrees is uh, allows us to go the 110. And so if I go the typical way, um, so I think I thought of it of going over over here to get to this location and then over this line to get to this one We would create a hundred and ten degree rotation in a positive direction because counterclockwise is positive Now some students not many but some see that this could happen a different way They see this hundred and twenty five and they think well you jumped over this line so over here and then you jumped over this line over here. And they say, well, you went through a 125 degree angle. That is actually true. We did. But in that direction, we would have stated that we would have gone over here first and then here. That's a clockwise direction, which is negative. And so that would be a negative 250. Wait a minute. 110 degrees negative 250 those are the exact same location so i know that's a little obscure but typically i guess what i would say to you is we work with the angle that's provided and certainly the acute angle in any given choice is the convention but both answers are actually correct if need be